It is time for Emerald Eats, where we highlight amazing food in our area. Yeah, today we are joined by Sean Miller, the owner of West of Chicago Pizza Company. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we're so happy you're here. So tell us all about West of Chicago Pizza Company and where people can find you. Okay, so we're located in the Alaska Junction of West Seattle. Um, we're at like 38th in Alaska in the Link Apartment Buildings. And uh, what we do there is we do Chicago food. Food. We do deep dish Chicago pizza. We do the tavern style pizza as well as Italian beef, salads, and sandwiches. That's awesome. Very Chicago. What are yeah. the most popular pizzas on the menu? So the most popular one would be the original, which I'm going to make right here. It's got our house made sausage and pepperoni and caramelized onions on it. And then second would be the super fan, which is just like a supreme pizza. It's you know got everything you could think of on it. And uh, then. The third one would have to be the meatball one, which is the Mama's Meatball. meatball. It's got uh, meatballs, Mama's Little Peppers, ricotta, roasted garlic, and love. Oh, oh that's always a special ingredient. The most important one. All right. Absolutely. Well, you're going to walk us through some of the steps of making your amazing Chicago-style pizza, so let's get so, started. Yeah, so we start out, um, every pie starts out the same. It gets proofed in the pan, and we just basically press out the dough, form it up the sides, and... Uh, then we add our cheese and our house-made sausage or whatever toppings you decide that you want on it, of so course. So the cheese on first. Cheese That's on first. That's interesting. Yeah, so at the end of the day, this pizza weighs almost five pounds. <gasps> oh, oh, my gosh. My goodness. So you can't Share with treat friend. it the same way as you would like a typical New York-style pizza. Yeah. So we start out with the cheese first because... Oh, it's if all, we, the all the cheese. All the cheese. Oh. All the cheese, yeah. And so we do the cheese first, and then what we'll do is we'll bake it in the oven, and uh, after we get done baking it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, mm -hmm. it'll come out caramelized, and, and the crust will be to the point where we're happy. And then we just cover it with sauce. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things about Chicago uh, deep dish pizza is it's really heavy. Mm -hmm. um, it, part of the reason it was actually um, created was because the um, blue collar workers in the meat packing industry wanted something they could put in their lunchbox that they could eat and they wouldn't be hungry after two hours oh, of work. Oh, there you go. And so that was actually where this came from. Okay. And wow. So, so I think I know the answer, but in the eternal debate, New York versus Chicago, where do you stand? Well, if you're asking me, it's, <laughs> it's Chicago. Yeah. Um, you know, but the, the real question is Chicago. Chicago is, is deep or thin. And for real Chicagoans, actually, the number one pie that gets sold in Chicago is actually the thin crust, which is kind really? of crazy. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the locals in Chicago call it deep dish tourist pizza. Okay. Wow, I didn't know that, but it is delicious. You it, can't deny that. Absolutely. And you originally fell in love with this pizza starting with sports, right? So tell yeah, us kind of so, how you got into Chicago. So I've been a Bears fan. So 1983, the Bears were pretty good. <laughs> um, since then, they haven't been as good. So this is how, where we would put it in the oven. Okay. And then with the magic of film. TV. Here is how it would come out. And then when, we, when it comes out here, we'll just... Ooh, scoop it right so on So the sauce there. goes on top. And on top. And okay. it's a thick and chunky sauce. See, okay. with such a long cooking time, though, that this sauce will begin to evaporate. And What's then, your secret ingredient with the sauce? Um, you know, my secret ingredient with everything is, is love. Aww. You know, like, if you're not passionate about what you do, you can't make something really, yeah. really good. Yeah, I and gotta so. tell you, I've never seen a Chicago-style pizza get put together. Yeah. Uh, so, it, this has been fantastic. Now, after this step, what would we do? So, after this step, it goes back in the oven for a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And then, by, by a little bit, I mean 20 to 25 minutes, and then it comes out and this is done. Look, Look at that. that. At the restaurant, what we do is we just finish it with a little bit of Parmesan and oregano. Mm, beautiful. It's right over top. Look at so that. how long total does a deep dish pizza usually take to cook? Because I remember when I was in Chicago, it felt like a lot, like yeah. 45 minutes? So it's oh, 40 yeah. to 45 <laughs> okay. minutes right around there. And, um, you know, that's, that's one of the things that customers, when, when they walk in, sometimes they come in and they're like, how long does it take a pizza? Yeah. And I'm like, 40 minutes. And they're like, how in the world could it be that long? <laughs> but that's just what it is. Yeah. There's no way to cook 
five pounds of cheese sauce and dough mm -hmm. in less than that yeah and have it be right I'd love to so, try it yeah this guy right here so for your uh, customers who are just so hungry immediately but they're willing to wait for your delicious pizza do you have like some appetizers so, or something quick yeah so the deep dish takes 40 to 45 minutes mm -hmm. but everything else on the menu I've made it so that it takes about 10 minutes oh that's Beautiful. perfect so, so you, something to hold you over there exactly mm -hmm. and you exactly. actually started in in a smaller kitchen, I right? I did. I in started in a commissary kitchen on Del Ridge mm -hmm. in uh, West Seattle. And it was actually the whole reason I did that was because I saw that Windy City Pie did that. And I was mm -hmm. like, wait, hey. you can do that? And so <laughs> um, I did it because I, I'm not a, a rich person. I didn't come from a lot of money. And yeah. I, I wanted to start a business in a very volatile market, which is the restaurant industry, sure. without a huge startup cost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's a let's, good option let's for get new business. To this. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> so. I think that's a great thing though, because you had a dream and you went for it however you could. Yes. yes. Is this our cheese pizza? This is, that is right? the cheese pizza, oh, yes. Oh so exciting. My face. I'm gonna start jumping yeah, in. Yeah, get Carly. in there, girl. Oh my gosh, I cannot this. wait. And to do most try. people eat with a fork, or do <gasps> people know, ever try to pick it up so and do the whole sometimes thing? Sometimes people eat with a fork, but at this, at the end of the day, this mm. crust will stand up. You can actually pick it up. There you go. You, know, you see how deep it is, but um, it oh, doesn't oh, really fall apart. So oh, look at go. that. It is just a layer, and I love it. That's mm -hmm. my favorite. You won't be hungry after you eat this. No, sure. definitely not. Usually, so our mm. large pizzas. I can eat about two slices and I'm full. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, eight slices. So it's actually really great <laughs> so to sure. feed the family. So. <laughs> I love yeah, that. Yeah, no kidding. Mm, fabulous. Amazing. Strong. Great Thank job. you so much. Thank you so much. This is delightful. <clears throat> and we've got more info on West of Chicago Pizza Company on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio 13 live. Yeah, and Highly recommend. Absolutely. And don't forget, if you have a restaurant or a bar and you think that we should feature them on the show, always let us know. Studio 13 live at fox.com. We'll have a good ya. day. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. This is so cool.